Okay, before taking a proctored placement exam, and what I mean by that is, you know, once you contact uh, Ms. Edmond and you get your name on that list and you're thinking about taking a proctored placement exam, what I recommend you do is take what's called a self-administered placement test. The score you receive in a self-administered test must be given to the proctor, and you will be signed to proctor once Ms. Edmonds puts your name on the list. All right? Now, someone says, where do I get this you know, self-administered place test? Well, it depends on what level you're at. Like, for example, let's say you didn't take Math 100, and you just took the active place where it said, see the math department. Well, you need to take the Math 100 self-administered placement test. Let me just briefly go through that with you. Click on this link over here. Whoops. I'm going to say um, that uh, no thank you to that. I don't want to join. Uh, this is an introduction. I recommend you read through it. A little tiny videos over here as well for you to look at. But there's a, sim a sample test over here. My recommendation, take the sample test. Now, within this document, when you get to this document, I want to point out to you, there's plenty of little videos for you to watch as well if you need to watch those videos. If you're capable of reading or saying what you've read, there's no reason, real reason to watch those videos. Other than the fact, it might be entertaining to watch. It's up to you. All right, but the bottom line, there is a self-administered placement test. What does that mean? You would go through this, and you would review the questions that we believe relate well to the material that's taught into Math 100. You would self-assess that. You know how to grade yourself. Is there an answer key provided for this test? There is. Make sure you look at this before you reach out to a proctor. You should have a score on this test before you see a proctor. Thank you.